Uh, this is the BCS S1 Industry 4.0 Design PowerPoint Recap. All right, so my name is Nikita and I was the analyst for this day and for the competition. Um, some of my roles, including down breaking down the components of the assembly line, making sure that I really understood them so that I, ex I could explain them to the rest of my group. I also worked with the engineering lead to help create a time study. I also identified parts of the production line that were already efficient and areas that needed help, so areas that we could make more efficient, and which helped us record data into the time study. Uh, William Kim is our friend off camera. He was our project manager. Uh, some of his responsibilities included making a detailed timeline for our goals, um, overviewing our tasks, and making a general picture of what we needed to accomplish, uh, ensuring good communication between all the members of the group, and describing improvements to go over the new process with the team. Uh, and I am William Chalk. I was the engineering lead, uh, and I was in charge of researching time studies, creating our citation list, working with our analyst to determine areas for improvement, designing the improvements, uh, justifying the proposed improvement, and I'm also the comedic lead of the group, so I'm very funny. Um, so our results, we were able to make uh, a great amount of improvements in the third milestone. Um, but obviously the CEO wanted some different, had some different ideas, so we were able to make our improvements in the fourth milestone, and what we came to were software updates. That was the big idea that we were gonna implement to make the system better without hardware changes. Without the bottleneck of the license plates, the factory as a whole would be able to produce more efficiently, and later down the line, if the CEO could find the money, the mechanical changes could be implemented for even greater efficiency. All right, so this whole competition was a great learning experience for everyone in our group. Some of the things we definitely learned how to do were how to work more efficiently given set um, project deadlines. Uh, we also learned how to collaborate with not only different team members, but we also learned their strengths so that we could work with each team member and use what skills they brought to the team to the best of our abilities. Uh, we also learned how to communicate between our all individual roles as like the analyst, the engineering lead, um, the project manager, um, so that all of the ideas that we brought together to make this um, project um, could fit together seamlessly. Uh, what we also learned, uh, thanks to the fourth milestone, is that there's always more than one way to solve um, an issue, and especially milestone three and milestone four, um, forces to look at the same issue in two different ways. And lastly, we also managed to improve on our critical thinking skills, um, such as exposing ourselves to think more outside the box in a more challenging way. So what would we do differently? Um, one thing we definitely would do is use our advisor more efficiently. We only managed to use him one out of the two opportunities that we were given because we weren't super aware of it. Um, but when we did use that uh, set of time, we weren't really sure what to do with the milestone initially, so we were like, okay, maybe we'll just bounce ideas off of our advisor, which probably would have been more efficient if we had just come with set questions that we weren't too sure about. Um, the other thing we would do is maybe keep track of all of our ideas regardless if we use them or not. Oftentimes what we notice is we would have an idea but we weren't too sure if it was strong enough to implement. So we would just be like, okay, scrap it and we'll think of a new, stronger idea. Whereas if we had just written everything down, regardless of how strong the argument was, we probably could have elaborated on it um, to enhance the detail of our project. Also, if we got stuck, we probably should have moved on to another aspect of the milestone and then come back to that respective challenge, mostly because um, sometimes it's frustrating when you're just stuck on an issue and you can't um, resolve it because you're not as productive anymore. So by coming back to it, you're giving your brain a little bit of rest and you're fresh with new ideas. And lastly, if we could work on different tasks, more efficiently within the group. Oftentimes when one person would get stuck, everyone would get sucked into that one issue, which caused lag on other aspects of the project. So if we had all first finished what we needed to do and then help where we were being, um, where we were struggling with, then maybe we probably could have achieved our milestones more efficiently so we could have made and added more details in the long run. But yeah, that is our project summary. And all right, thank you. Thank you.